Hi, I'm Julia with Julia Sue's Stamping. I'm passionate about stamping, coloring, creating paper crafts, cards, and sharing the fun of doing that with you. Thank you so much for being here today and joining me for a few minutes. Today's card is using a template and the Silly Goose stamp set because I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator, so I use Stampin' Up! products. If you're interested in getting any of the products that were used in this video, I have, a, I have everything listed in the description down below. So please uh, take a look. My online store is also listed there, as well as my blog address. And a lot more um, details are listed on the blog as far as the measurements for every single thing easily listed out there in, um, in, you know, in a list style of thing. I am from Northeast Ohio, and I think we should get started. How about you? Today's card is this silly goose card where we are sending a big honking thanks to somebody. <laughs> We're going to create a card using this template. I have been creating several cards using this template lately, and this is the fourth and last card I'm going to be doing right now, anyway, and <laughs> putting onto uh, YouTube and Facebook. I do have the elements in a little different of places, but basically it's the same thing as you can see. We're using Basic White, Lost Lagoon, Pretty Peacock, and that's about it <laughs> for all of our supplies that we need for this card. Using the bone folder, I'm taking a piece of 11 by 4 and a quarter Basic White that has been scored at 5 and a half and folding it. The Lost Lagoon sheet here is five and a quarter by three and seven eighths. I want to create um, a little bit of a division with it using some white baker's twine, which I'm going to wrap around a few times. Cut it with my paper snips. And then using regular tape, I'm going to simply tape it in place on the back of the card. Then this gets adhered to the front of the card using my adhesive. My favorite adhesive is the Stampin' Up! Seal Plus. I do have to get it started a lot, it seems. And now adhering that to the front of the card. The next step is going to be um, putting some texture on this item here using the stripes and speckles um, embossing folder. These embossing folders, this set comes with two in the set, and one of them is a stripe, and the other is splatters, I think. It's really the stripes and splatters. Hopefully I'll get it right someday. Making a C shape with that so that it feeds easily into the cut and emboss machine. adding some nice texture. I'm going to adhere this two inch by four and four and a quarter, two inch by four and a quarter to this that is two and an eighth by four and three eighths.
and I'm going to use dimensionals to adhere that to the card. Like I had said before, I am using the Silly Goose stamp set today and the uh, Sending a Big Honkin' Thanks as well as this goose right here. And now some adhesive to the back. and putting it so now it's nicely framed. Taking a scrap piece of paper and the ink again, ink up the goose And the blending pens I am using today, the Stampin' Blends, are the Lost Lagoon, Granite Gray, and the Pumpkin Pie. Starting with the light granite gray, I'm going to put a little bit of shadow on the goose, and I will speed this up. Next is pumpkin on his legs and beak, the pumpkin pie. Now for the light lost lagoon on our sign. I'm going to put the dark lost lagoon on around where the what fingers <laughs> of the goose are and the bottom of the sign as well as the edge wherever I think there might be just a little bit of shadow. Then I'm simply going to blend in the outside edges of it with the lighter again. But I'm not going to go in the middle per se. I'm going to leave the sign having some different kind of colors to it. Just lightly, lightly. There. All right very lightly on that. And uh, where his feet are, I want to have him kind of standing on something. So creating a little shadow around his feet. There. All right. So just a little bit of shadow underneath him and around his feet. All right, I am using a circle to cut him out. All done, he's been cut. I'm going to move the <laughs> cut and emboss machine and the pens because we're all done with those. Now for the last bit of adhering things to the card. So 
I like to kind of play around a little, decide where I would like things to go, and I would suggest you do the same because you may decide you want it completely different, maybe like this way or something fun like that. That's completely up to you. Have fun with it and decide where you would like things to go on the card. I actually really like that for this one, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a dimensional underneath this part here, some adhesive, nice, and I'm going to put a dimensional here and some adhesive as well. <laughs> There we are, like that. There we go. How quick and easy is that? And it is basically the same template, just changed up a thing a tiny bit and had some fun with it. So here's the original one that I did, and I made this one just a little bit different. And the cards that I've also done using this template so far this week alone have been the Hey Chuck. I've got this one with the gorgeously made stamp set. And this one with the Circle Saints. So all using the same template. Very different looking cards. It would not be easy to think that I was using the same template, would it? Because they all look so different. And yet they all look very similar. Make your life easier. Use a template. Go online, look up for, look up uh, you know, sketches or templates and have some fun with it. It's so easy to create and there's nothing that says it has to be 100% original your idea. Thank you so much for joining me today. I'm really glad that you were here and able to spend a few minutes with me. Please be sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. If this was your first time watching the video, I'm so glad you were here. And if it was your hundredth time watching one of my videos, I'm glad you're here too. Thank you so much. If you already have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, then use them. But if you don't, or you'd like to try someone different, uh, please feel free to use my Stampin' Up! online store for any purchases you would like to make. I appreciate you supporting my small business very, very much. I hope you have a great day and have an opportunity to get inky. Bye.